Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be taking you guys along with me on a shop with me trip. I went to a couple different thrift stores. These were some local thrift stores that we have in our area. So I'm going to be sharing some neat things that I found as well as what I ended up bringing home with me. As always don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification to be notified of our new videos. Give us a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and don't forget to say hi in the comments we'd love to hear from you so let's jump right in so the first store that i visited is habitat for humanity this is a restore and it is like a building material store and they have tons and tons of different stuff here this was a huge planter that i found i loved it and wanted to kind of redo it 80 dollars was a little steep um but it was huge so these types of stores are really interesting because they are a huge mess but you can find the best treasures in here this was their like outside area and this is all like outdoor building materials. There was so much tile here. This is a lot of subway tile. There was travertine tile wrapped up in that package right there. Um, yeah, so much. This is subway tile here. They had the little square tiles. There is just so much if you have like a project that you want to do. It definitely got my brain thinking about DIYs. And inside I stumbled across this lamp and I already have a lamp. I just did a DIY on a lamp if you want to check that out. This one was so so pretty. I love the texture on it and it was only $10. I cannot pass it up. So right across the street there is another part of this store and this part is all furniture. And these types of stores are my favorite I love the stores where you literally have to go and like dig through everything just to see what they have it's my favorite thing I came across these chairs oh my gosh they are so cute I love like that vintage wood look I don't know what style these are at all nowadays these are totally that like boho vintage style so cute even the upholstery on these it was good guys it was they were so cute they only wanted ten dollars a piece for them they were like a little bit on the smaller side i had to test this chair out and see if it was like wobbly at all a little wobbly it wasn't terrible but definitely a cute vintage find and at such a good price i loved this vintage filing cabinet it was like the perfect olive green and then it had these little brass like vintage handles and the little lock it was so cute this was a pretty new cabinet it was perfect for like a little bench seat or window seat already built just needed little handles super cute so this was some of the art that they had i really loved this piece it was so pretty um i was trying to figure out the artist's name in the corner but i just couldn't really make it out but it had um, a wood frame I just love pieces like this that just feel so unique and authentic this one had a perfect little farmhouse feel if you like that vibe it was just really really sweet and as I was rummaging through some of the other art there was a Monet in there I'm pretty sure it was just a little poster print hopefully <laughs> and there was a uh, a true homage to some 80s prints in there. I am a little picky when it comes to bringing home like art and stuff for the walls in my home. I'm kind of like that more, less is more uh, vibe for my house, but I still like to look at everything. Sometimes things surprise you. And moving on to the mirrors, this one was like a solid wood. It was so, so pretty, but it was a little bit too small. I'm looking for something really large, kind of a show-stopping mirror, and this just wasn't it. These little ottomans or poofs, whatever you want to call them, are super in right now. Um, this one would be easy to DIY, but for $40, it was a little steep. And moving on to the next thrift store, this one has so many books and I love looking through them. You kind of have to dig around. I take the covers off. Like this one, for example, was a diamond in the rough. So, so pretty. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, so pretty. What I love to do with these is take the covers off and display them like in my kitchen somewhere. This one had like a plum 
color with gold and I love finding books that I can change out like seasonally so this one was a really pretty green that would be really nice um, in the kitchen around Christmas it would just add that nice little green touch this little cutie was that little boho style um, you could use it like as a waste basket or even like a plant liner that one was really cute okay these stopped me in my tracks these are little wooden fruits and they are like hand carved so unique i have never seen anything like this comment down below if you guys have seen these i thought they were adorable they had a ton of plates and dishware is that what it's called dishware um, I liked this yellow one, kind of a neat mid-century modern. The shape was really pretty on it. This little pot was so cute. I love the brass or copper on it. Very, very cute. So heavy, but really nice. And there was this tree that caught my eye. I thought it was a good artificial. It definitely needed some cleaning and some steaming, but it was a good um, little tree. They wanted 50 for it, which I thought it wasn't bad because um, it is so big. So this is the stuff that I did bring home with me. Of course, I had to grab that gorgeous lamp with all that texture so so pretty and i did grab these books the plum one you guys I just couldn't pass that up the colors were just so pretty perfect for christmas so i can't wait to switch those out around the holidays um i did have to get this tara it was the heart of napa valley i'm gonna try to find that online and i will link it below but oh my gosh that this is just the prettiest book I think I've ever found, you guys. And it fit perfect right alongside my stove with my other cookbooks. So, so pretty. That was my favorite find of the day for sure. I also brought home these little fruits. I couldn't pass them up. If I don't have a place for them, I will find a place for them, you guys. Come on. <laughs> they, they are just so cute. I couldn't leave them. I'm gonna try out the dark wood, and if I don't like the dark wood, I can always sand them down and make them like that lighter wood, so we'll figure it out. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to get out in your local thrift stores and find some pre-loved items for your home. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Don't forget to say hi in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.